Hello guys, welcome back to the Rivian. I'm sorry that there's not been a video for quite a while, but I'd like to say I've been busy with uni, but <laughs> I, well I have been busy with uni and stuff, more so than I have been the last few times and stuff that I've said that I've been busy with uni. Anyway, so yes, I have new hair and stuff. It's short in all the way around now except from this little tiny section at the top. Um, I can't really remember what my hair looked like in the last video that I filmed which is like really bad but there you go. I've got just got the memory of a potato. So anyway I'm filming this now because the time that this video will correspond with is when I will be at my friends and I can't really bring all of this stuff with me. I'll be bringing some of it with me though. Uh, but not the whole lot. So this is going to be my Lushy for a Year video. I know that it's not really a thing but I just thought I wanted to do something to mark the anniversary of me being a Lushy for a Year. Now I got my first Lush product in April last year. I think it was April the 16th um, and it was the Happy Days gift set. And <laughs> Yeah, I've been a Lushy ever since. My friend took me to the Lush in Liverpool and I got the Happy Days gift set for 15 quid and I've been obsessed ever since. I'm unfortunately probably not going to be able to fund my Lush addiction after uni because there's no certainty that I'm going to get a job or anything afterwards. So I've been looking at making my own DIY Lush stuff so if you'd like videos on that then I'll be more than happy to film some videos on that but how we're going to do this is I've got the products listed or I've got the products in order because I tried filming this once and it was all jibble dilly jabbled up and stuff so I've got them in order I'm going to start off with the products that I've not really liked the products that they're okay but probably not repurchase and then the products that I really liked so the first product is one of ooh, the uh, dropping everything. <laughs> the first product is the one of their solid sh uh, conditioners, even called Big. Now, I love the smell of this. I absolutely adore the smell of this. I can't even describe the smell which is going to be a reoccurring theme throughout this video but it just smells it smells kind of like the sea which is the thing of big it's the tagline on the website is I think it's make your hair make you feel like a mermaid or something like that but I can't for the life of me really get this thing to work for me I don't know whether I'm using it wrong and stuff but it just doesn't feel like there's any product going on my hair unless I put like a big massive chunk on it over in my hair and then rub it in. It just doesn't seem to be working for me so I don't know whether it, I'm doing it wrong or anything. I am thinking of repurchasing it again to give it another go and stuff but it's just not really worked for me that well. So then I don't know where the other ones go. I should have four of these but these are the old toothy tabs the ones that came in the cardboard packaging there's choo choo i love you dirty and breath of god now the taste of these was okay breath of god, god took a little bit of getting used to um i think it's called bush the other one that i had or something it's the one that had a little gray in it and all that but what's happened is because they've got all soggy in the cardboard packaging they've gone like really icky and stuff inside I'll try and get it focused in which is going really well probably give me a minute to refocus it but they've just gone all crusty and horrible because water's got in and it's reacted with the bicarbonate of soda the bicarbonate of soda in them um, Breath of God I think was the only one is the only one that's like sort of still okay because I haven't really used it that much I mean I like the idea of the toothy tabs 
Um, I wouldn't recommend buying as many as I did because I bought four at once and that's probably partially the reason why they've gone so funny and whatever and the humidity and stuff in the air because it's been really damp and stuff in England but I'm thinking about repurchasing them in the tub form but I, I liked being able to spend £2.50 on these and get in what I got as to paying £6 on and just getting a little tub or a little pot thing so I don't know I might repurchase them um, okay so another product that's like I, I was really really disappointed with from Lush was their Santa Fun. I'm going to insert a clip and stuff either after or while I'm rambling about it but the Santa Fun I got it in a gift set with, from my friend the Father Christmas one that you can see the nut wrap of here and I was just really disappointed with it. Fun is basically like Play-Doh but it's soap and you can use it as like shampoo, body wash, bath, bubble bath, that's the word I was looking for there, <laughs> bubble bath, um, but I was just really disappointed with mine because I only got to use it like twice before it started getting all like sticky and melty and, ugh, and stuff and then it started melting out of the packet, it started melting out in the little wrap that they wrapped in and it was leaking all over my shelf where the rest of my Lush stuff is so I've had to uh, relegate it to the bathroom now and it's just kind of melted all over the sink I don't know whether it's because I was using it wrong or I let too much moisture get to it but it just went funny really really quickly like I think it was f going soft and ugh um, the second time that I tried to use it and stuff but I'll insert a clip and stuff now of what it's looking like and what it's kind of done. So this is what's happened to my fun. It's just like all everywhere and stuff. And it just like leaked all out of the packet and whatever. And yeah fun <laughs> next thing is the remainders of one of the first bath bombs that i got way back in april last year which is have a bath um there's not really a whole lot left of it now i liked the smell of it when i got it and stuff and i think it's just because i left it so long before i actually used it um i mean this this is the okay section now by the way the stuff that's okay that I'm mm, 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 on the fence about picking again but um, I think it was just the fact that I left it too long and that it got too squishy and stuff it didn't really fizz very much and yeah I just wasn't too keen on it or whatever so um, the next couple uh, this one is Lemony Flutter Cuticle Butter. I've really not used this one that much, like, seriously. There's hardly any gone at all in it. Um, but I like the smell of it and everything. It's, it's, a little goes a long way with this because I got out like a massive dollop the first time that I used it and it was just so horrible, so greasy and stuff. It was just, ugh. No, no. Um, it is a very thick formula though. I do like the smell, but I prefer using my other hand cream and stuff as to using this. That's why this hasn't really gone down very much. Um, so yeah, I might consider re getting it again, but for si I think it was £6.95 for this little tub and the amount of times I've used it, I don't really think that it'd be worth me getting it again. So, these two, <laughs> really badly, are from when I got them back in April last year. My friend and I went to Oxford Lush because I went to stay at hers and then we went on holiday from there. 
and I've just been trying to use these up. The first one is Mask of Magnum Inte. There's a little bit left in the bottom and stuff. And don't get me wrong, I have, I think I've just got some on my nose, and maybe in my hair. Um, I have really enjoyed this and stuff, it's just that I don't really use face masks that much anymore because I just forget to do them. But it does feel nice, it, I like the tingling of it and stuff, but yeah, I don't know whether I'd repurchase it again or not, it's just not one of my favourite face masks. I no, I really don't have that much it. left of anymore because I've been trying to use it up since it's been here for nearly a year now and considering that it should have been used by the 27th of June last year. But this is one of three cleansers that's going to be in this video. This is Herbalism and as you can see there's not really an awful lot left in there. I got this on a recommendation from my friend because her sister, I think it was her sister, had used it before and stuff and I like it but I prefer the cleansers that I use now which I'll be going on to in a minute once we get into the products that I really liked and more than likely will be repurchased if I can, if they're not seasonal like a few of them are that's all so. the okay and not so good ones but now we're going to move on to the my favourites from Lush I'm going to try and keep it short try is the operative word there we've got Butter Bear which was a seasonal exclusive although I think it's the same formula and generally the same bath bomb except in a different shape as Butterball. This has got little cocoa butter nibs in it and I only need to use like a small chunk to get the desired thing which is you know the softness and stuff after the bath and it leaves your skin having a, oh dear, a little bit of a, a thin film of like moisture and stuff and you just need to like rub it in and whatever after your bath and then bobs your teapot you crop it uh, it's got a pretty simple vanilla scent yeah it's got a pretty simple, simple vanilla scent and stuff and it just smells nice it, my one kind of smells like Father Christmas bath bomb because that's is what it's been with ugh, since I got the it. Father Christmas one this was of course one of the bits from the Christmas range and I also got this in the Father Christmas gift set that my friend got me he's got a little green centre I also bought it before um, my friend or oh, the present came in the post I like the smell of it and stuff um, again I can't really place the smell it, it smells like apples and stuff I suppose but yeah, I did like, I, I mean from what I've used of it, I've, like, I've only used a tiny little chunk of it. So I did like it and stuff. It's, I don't know, I liked it, yeah, I liked it. Another bath bomb from the Christmas range that I've not actually used yet, which is really bad because it's gone, it's pretty much ruined now, was the Cinders one. Like it's gone all discoloured and squishy and whatever and it just looks pretty horrible right now but it smells like cinnamon and stuff I got recommended it in from somebody in the shop when I went last winter there and I've not used it yet so I can't really comment on what it's like but it'd be a bit of an unfair um, judgement on it since seeing as it has gone all iffy and funny and weird and whatever so Another Christmas one that I got was So White. I've used that one so obviously I don't have it to show. But I really liked that one. It turned my bath water a really, really lovely pale pink. And it smelled just like crisp, fresh apples. And ugh, ugh. If they do the bath bomb again this Christmas, yes. 10 out of 10. Helen is getting that. Bam. Now, in my winter haul, <laughs> I said that this bath bomb, Twilight, smelt like Old Man Pee, which was a bit of a, eh, a bit of an unfair comparison. It does actually smell like lavender. I don't know why I smell Old Man Pee. I'm sorry, Lush, it doesn't smell like Old Man Pee. You'll be very glad to hear. But, again, this one's kind of gone funny because I've not really used it 
and stuff because I just don't have baths that regularly. I'm more of a shower person, so. <clears throat> but it smells, it does smell like lavender, and I do Another really bath bomb that I forgot to mention was the experimenter. I've had two experimenters, and I've both left them too long before I used them. The second one went slightly better than the first one, but <clears throat> the first one just looked like like a really dirty yellow because of how long it took me to get to use it I can't really remember the smell of it that much but cleaning up after it was a bit of a pain with all the glitter another bath bomb that I've forgotten as well was intergalactic I oh 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 I loved intergalactic like I love stars in the night sky and it turned my bath into the night sky there was little tiny oh there was little tiny flecks of silver glitter in it that just hovered over the surface of the water it turned the water, water like dark blue sort of thing but cleaning up after it was in pain as is cleaning up after any of the bath melts because they do leave a lot of shimmer and luster on the bottom of the bath and because I live with my dad and stuff, he would not want glitter on his feet in the shower in the morning so I have to clean up all the glitter afterwards which isn't always very easy. Um, finally Especially on the subject of, of well, sort of finally on the subject of baths. Um, I've got a few bath melts that I've got from Lush since I've been a Lushy. There's this one, I can't remember the name of it but it was part of the Christmas line. It's just like this little white um, bowl of silver luster coloured bath melty goodness um, again can't place the smell I, sh I should just become a master perfumer shouldn't I yes this smells like that that smells like that anyway but from what I've only used like a teeny tiny little bit of it but from what I've used of it it was really good this one I think was also part of the winter range and it was the dream time I think it's I think it was called the dream time it had like a luster Z on it that's only half there now and it's got like a little light purple colour and this one was also lavender is also lavender smelling even and I also got this for the same reason why I got twilight to try and like help me sleep and stuff because I was have at the time I was having trouble sleeping and that's really good I really like the combination of that with Twilight and then the final bath melt I have is Melting Marshmallow Moment and it's half and half it's like golden pink all covered in luster and whatever and this smells like rock star this smells like candy and stuff so if you're not a big fan of like candy scents then I wouldn't recommend this but as you can see I've like used half of it and stuff so the final few bath products that I have are bubble bars. Um, I also had the Bright Star bubble bar from my uh, Sunny Days, excuse me, and I've also had the Granny Takes Dip, Dip Bath Bomb and eh, I wasn't that keen on both of those, I don't think I'd get them again, uh, but the first bubble bar that I've still got is Blue Sky, Blue, I really can't say the name of this. Blue skies, fluffy clouds. I think it's fluffy clouds. I don't think it's fluffy white clouds. But anyway, this smells very, very heavily of incense. I can't tell you what incense it smells like, but I do love the smell of this. When I was looking at it in the shop, when I got my um, shampoo bar, I ummed and nod and ummed and nod and ummed and nod and ummed and nod about it and put it back, smelt it, put it back, smelt it, put it back, smelt it. And then I eventually, obviously, since it's here, I decided to buy it and it's a really lovely smell and I just love it. I just love the smell of it. And then again, something that's really bad and that I shouldn't have done, um, I still have my comforter bubble bar from my first Lush thing and I love the smell of the comforter. The comforter is also the smell of my best friend's favourite Lush thing, her favourite smell and it does it just smells lovely it smells like berries and cream 
and stuff and it's just an all round lovely smell. I can't really remember, I've never really used that much of it in the bath. I've used it as more of a like, body wash and stuff but yeah. Speaking of body washes, we have a couple of shower jellies. The first one is Santa's Belly Shower Jelly. This is the alcohol one because it's got red wine in it and Lush shower jellies are just amazing. They're one of my favourite products from Lush and this smells like red wine and apples. And it's absolutely delightful and it's just like a jelly 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 and yeah I just love I just love this. I love the shower jellies and stuff. Um, I also have the Wush shower jelly and I do prefer the smell of the Wush shower jelly to the Santa's belly one but I prefer the consistency of the Santa's belly one to this one because this one just like breaks up really easily. It's just like really flimsy and stuff but I love using this one after I've had a run on the treadmill or been exercising. Not that it really looks like it's doing anything that. But anyway, uh, just to like pick me up and you know, pick up my tired self after being on the treadmill. But Lush Shabba Jellies, they get the hell and seal of approval. And then another shower product that I have is the Rub 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 Bar, not the Rub 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 Tub. And this smells exactly like scenic and the flowers that are on it, I think the roses are going all ugh, and iffy on mine because I keep forgetting to use it but I do really like this. I know that people, some people hate on the rubber rub, rub bar as of course the rubber rub, rub uh, then, tub of it. Okay. I've only ever had one Lush soap which is this which is Rockstar. And I don't use it that often, but I do like the smell of it. Rockstar is one of my personal favourite Lush scents and stuff. And yeah, I mean, I think it's going to take me a while to get through it all. But once I have got through it all, I think I will be repurchasing it. And then finally, we're on to like, well, we've got um, a hair thing. Uh, another hair thing, yes. Um, I love the idea of the Lush shampoo bars and since using them my hair has just felt so much better and stuff but this is the scenic shampoo bar as you can see it's quite thin and I need a new one so hopefully when I go over to my friends in a friend in a friend's house for saying friends makes it sound like I have more than one friend I don't I have one friend in the whole entire world well I say I've got one friend. There's a couple of people at uni that I've talked to and stuff, but anyway. Um, the Scenic Shampoo Bar is really nice. It smells like the sea, which is a big winner because I love the smell of the sea and it's going to be really good come summer because sea, summer, summer, what's summer? Sea, summer, yay! So and then uh, a couple of body things. Um, wiki wacky wiki magic muscles why can't I say that right wiki magic muscles wiki magic muscles anyway this is one of their massage bars and it's great I can't remember what the beads these like bean things are called but I've been trying to perfect making my own massage bars and stuff it's not that difficult but I'm trying to get them with a specific sort of effect like I want them to be cooling on the skin and stuff like your muscle like you've been running and stuff but this is really good my back is ridiculously painful most of the time like my lower back because my back funi is like a stone and my back muscles and stuff are just always really sore and achy and I also really like putting this on uh, before I go for a run on the treadmill because it's got cinnamon and mint in it and it smells really it does smell nice people i was reading comments and stuff and reviews on the website and people were saying that it smells like cough medicine it does smell a little bit like cough medicine but it's not like a really really bad cough medicine smell so but this is a good massage bar and of course i've got the tins and stuff because i got a succulent in my 
And then the final massage bar, massage bar that I've got is the Sleepyhead massage bar. And I got this from the Lush Kitchen. Uh, Mariu Marius? Marius? He made it for me. It's a Polish name. I apologise if I've butchered your name, Marius. And I also got a little Polaroid and stuff of him with the bar and whatever. But again, I've just been enjoying using this and like massaging it into my temples before I go to sleep. It smells like lavender and it does smell really nice. I love the smell of this massage bar. Yeah. <laughs> I just really like massaging it into my temples and like maybe putting a little bit around my nose so I can smell it when I go to sleep. But I find this one a little bit more difficult than the Wiki, Ma what? Wiki Magic Muscles to like get soft and stuff and start rubbing in. But this was really good and if they ever do it again in the kitchen, get it. Because this is my first Lush Kitchen project. Uh, project. My first Lush Kitchen product and I really liked it and then finally for the body this is for your tail end of your body not your tail your coccyx but your cutsies um, this is a foot dusting powder you sprinkle a little bit in your, between your toes and I like to rub it all over my feet as well it's got tea tree in it and lime I think and this smells exactly like the stuff that we used to rub on the dog that we had a Westies tummy when she had because um, she had like really bad tummy rashes and stuff and we used to put on tea tree oil and stuff for her and it smells just like that and it reminds me of her and stuff and I admit it's not as down as it should be because I keep forgetting to use it and stuff after a shower but I do have really <laughs> really stinky feet and this just helps and it smells really nice really fresh and like really clean and stuff and I would recommend it and then the final products that we have are for the face um, I've got the dream steam cleaner tab which I've only used a little bit of I've got one of those facial steamers and I like to mix this with another one of these cleansing products and a little bit of water and just sit there let my sin sin let my skin soak up all the goodness and whatever and yeah just <laughs> so but this did have a rose petal on it and stuff it doesn't really have a smell anymore and I can't really remember what it smelled like when I first got it but yeah this is one of my favourite 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 products from Lush and I got it because Graveyard Girl Bunny she said that it was one of her Lush favourites and it's the Breath of Fresh Air Toner Water this is still my first bottle of it I've hardly used much of this but I really enjoy using this with that Dream Steam toner tab that I mentioned just a few seconds ago and this smells it smells like lavender to me it's not got lavender in it I don't think no, it doesn't really smell like, it sort of smells like the sea, but I think it smells more like lavender, which is really weird considering it doesn't actually have lavender in it, but it's got fresh sea water in it and seaweed and stuff, and it just, oh, I just love using it, like, as like a finishing touch to my cleansing routine and whatever, and using it in the facial steam sauna thing it just it's just really good just get it <laughs> and then the final couple of cleansers that I have these are the ones that have knocked herbalism out I've got dark angels which is one of my favorite cleansers from lush it's it smells like those blackjack sweets that you used to get as a kid you know the licorice sweets and stuff but it's jet black and it's got little bits of charcoal in it and stuff and I usually use this when I'm in the shower because it's a bit too abrasive and stuff to use every day but it's really good for like purifying the skin is charcoal and stuff and this is my second part of this stuff I love Dark Angels 
And then the final cleanser that I've got from Lush is Aquamarina. The smell of this one I think is a bit of a love-hate thing, sort of like Marmite, but I love the smell of this. I, when I first got it, because this is my second tub of this as well, when I first got it I was like, <laughs> seaweed, ugh, because it does have quite big chunks of seaweed in it, and it's also got ca chamomile powder in it, and I read somewhere that they were wanting to discontinue it and stuff, and I was really sad about that, and they were the cashiers were talking about it when I was buying it and stuff, and they were like, remember when everybody thought that we were getting rid of Aquamarina, and everyone was like, oh no, don't get rid of it, but this is really good as well, as apparently, for people with acne. I, I'm quite fortunate I don't really get acne. The only other time that I really get lots of spots and stuff is when I've eaten too much sugar or when it's that time of the month. That was really awkward. <laughs> and then the final, final Lush product that I've really liked and stuff is the Vanishing Cream Moisturiser. This is my second tub of this as well. It's got lavender in it and it's some it's what they call a low fat moisturizer. So it's not greasy, it's not shouldn't break you out and stuff. It does smell like lavender and it's like really really runny. Like even just tipping it to show the camera and stuff got a little bit on the lid. Um but this is a little bit on the pricey side. It's $18.95 I think but the tub that I had before this lasted me like maybe eight months, like about that. Was it eight months? Because I got it in summer, I think. September, October, November, December, January. So yeah, about about five to six months maybe, seven months at a push. Um, but that's one of, that is like my go-to moisturizer now. So that was the entirety, I think, of all the stuff that I have bought over my year of being a Lushy. There's quite a lot of products there and this is quite a long video so if you've stuck to the end then thank you very very much and stuff. And here's to hopefully, touch wood, another year of being a Lushy. So thank you all for watching. I hope you have a lovely day, afternoon, night, whatever, whatever time of day it is that you watch this and I hope that you'll consider subscribing to The Revienne and maybe following me on Instagram at The Revienne and yeah I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!